everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a braces and retainers experience. Um, like getting them off, getting them on, having them, getting them off, and retainers. I got them April 16th, 2012, I believe. And I got them off February 25th, 2014. So I had them for a year and almost two years. And my expected time was 22 to 24 months. Which is, I ended up with only 22 months. Getting them on, I went in and it took forever to get them on. I'm so impatient when it comes to things like that. Like, I'm just ready to be gone out of the dentist. I hate the dentist. It doesn't scare me or anything. I just don't like people all up in my mouth. Now, it doesn't hurt um, when you're getting your braces on, except for um, your cheeks get a little bit sore when they have, like, these things that, like, pull your teeth apart so they can see every single tooth. Um, it just kind of, like, pulls a little bit, and it, it'll crack your lips. But my dentist, like, they ask if you need, like, Vaseline or anything, and they'll put it on your lips for you. And, uh, it doesn't hurt anymore after that, and except for when they put the wire, like, the brackets, that doesn't hurt at all. But when they put that wire on, it doesn't hurt. You just feel a little bit of pressure if you know what I mean, like you're like this pressure on your teeth that you're not used to, and then when you go home, they hurt a little bit more, and then the next day is actually like, wow, I I couldn't I couldn't find Hades before this, but now I'm here. Probably hurt for four days, and then I could finally eat again. I don't know if it, it's going to be different for every single person and what your pain tolerance is. I have a really high pain tolerance. But then again, like, it was, like, a pain that I've never felt before, so it was weird to me. Because, like, I've never had, like, such pressure on my teeth. But for me, after, like, four days, I could eat um, solids again, and I didn't have to just, like, slurp my soup anymore. And then after you have them on, you will go back for checkups. It'll start out, like, every, I want to say, three to four weeks, and then it'll turn into like a month and a half or two months depending on how fast your teeth are moving and stuff. First you'll just get brackets and you can get a color around them if you want. I got clear and then you will go back and depending on if your teeth are um, spaced out you will probably still get chains which are things that that you can get colors in them and I always got a color on the bottom and gray on the top because I still wanted my braces to look clear. Chains are these things that it's like a rubber band but there's like a hole that connects to each bracket and they all pull together or pull apart I guess. I don't really know how that all works out. But they'll put it on every tooth and they will it'll pull all your teeth together and close any gaps that you might have back here. Like I had to get four teeth pulled for me to be able to um, get braces. So they had to close up those gaps that they pulled back there and that's what the chains help do. It's not going to overcrowd your teeth but it's also not going to... Um, space them out. It's just going to do them just right and then they'll stop moving. Um, I had to get chains um, like I would go back probably every month and then I would get a new chain just because that one was probably stretched out and wasn't doing anything anymore. And there are some chains that are tighter than others like I remember sometimes I would go and it wouldn't hurt at all but then like some chains just weren't stretched out as much as the other ones were and they hurt a little bit more but it's nothing that's like as terrible as the first time you get braces um and then after you get chains you'll have chains for the rest of the time you have braces and then you'll get rubber bands if you have to um I had a tooth that was way up here like way 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 up here and then um so my braces just pulled that down I didn't necessarily have to wear ch um, rubber bands for that I don't know what I had to wear rubber bands for, but apparently I had to I had to wear them right here and right here. But it just depends on your circumstances why you would have to get them. <laughs> really quick before I talk about getting them off, I'm going to talk about maintaining your braces and whatnot. So you need to brush your teeth after every meal because if you don't, you will get cavities, you will get white spots on your teeth, and you will get um you could get stains on your teeth that you don't want um you if you're gonna get white chains or white um little colors around your teeth you cannot drink colored drinks because if you do you're gonna like say you drank a purple grape pico those white things are gonna turn purple 
So, that's why I got gray, because I like to drink a lot of soft drinks, and gray won't change colors on you. So, I would recommend getting the gray, or a color on the top, or a color on the bottom. Real quick, I'm going to go back to before you get your braces on. I um, brushed my teeth with baking soda and peroxide right before I got my braces on, so I wouldn't have yellow squares underneath my brackets. Because, um, supposedly, if you whiten your teeth while you have braces, you'll get... Um, yellow squares but I whitened my teeth before I got braces like right before and then I whitened my teeth while I had braces and but when I say whitened I just mean I brushed them with baking soda and peroxide and so like maintaining your braces you want to make sure that there's no food in any of them they are a pain like I hated them but I promise you'll get used to having to take care of them and just make sure that you get a travel toothbrush from your dentist and take it to school with you I did that and I brushed my teeth at school after every meal or just when I felt like my mouth had something in it that I didn't want in there. Now, getting them off, getting them off was a little bit different than getting them on. It felt unusual, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Like some things that they did, um, kind of hurt. First thing they do is they pop your brackets off. On some teeth, this hurts more than others. Like on my top teeth, it didn't hurt at all. But on these front, like four bottom teeth. Oh my gosh, it really did hurt because those are like really um, fragile, like small teeth. And so they kind of hurt a little bit right there, but it just hurts for that like one split second that they pop it off and then it goes away. And then they tell you to go brush your teeth. And I went and brushed my teeth and I didn't look at the mirror or anything. And then I opened my mouth to brush my teeth and I was like, oh my gosh, like I had straight teeth. I didn't have braces anymore. Like it was like, probably the best feeling in the world to not have braces. It's not really like a slimy feeling, like people keep per like saying that it is. It feels like your m lips are numb, so, so like because like there's nothing that's rubbing against them anymore. So it feels like your lips are kind of numb. Like wait, where are my braces? My, why can't my lips feel them? You know what I mean? I mean, I guess in a way you could describe it as slimy, but that's not how I described it to myself. So when you brush them, you're done. There's still gonna be glue on your teeth, and then he'll go back and he'll. Um, dust the glue off and like polish your teeth and stuff like that and that part I really didn't like because I hate that noise and it makes your teeth feel really really cold and I hate that but like I said everybody is different but it really wasn't that bad it did take a while like probably 10 minutes no probably 20 minutes I don't even know but after that we did molds for retainers and you bite on this piece of wax like no they'll do like the cement mold that you do right before you get braces as well and then they'll do the um wax bite which you'll bite down on so they'll know like what to give you <coughs> and I have a story about retainers so you'll get molds you'll get a wax bite and then you'll leave and you'll come back like a day later and get your retainers so I had a top retainer and a bottom retainer my bottom retainer had like a wire across it so you could see it on my teeth but my top one you could not see at all um I, ha I got it on like a Thursday, it was gone by Sunday. My dog had chewed it up and they warned me about it and I really honestly didn't do anything wrong. I had it in my bag over there by my door and the dog came in my room and chewed up the whole entire case, chewed up um, top and bottom retainer. So I had to go back and get more and I had to pay for them with my own money because my mom was like, no, you have to pay for them with your own money because you're the one that lets your dog get them. You're the one that they should have been in your mouth because they're supposed to be in your mouth 24-7. Um, so you're going to pay for them. So I ended up just getting a permanent retainer on the bottom and one, um, like a clear one on the top because perma like I'd rather have one on the bottom than one on the top. And if you don't wear your retainers, your teeth will move. My sister Bailey is um, a witness of that because she's probably going to have to get braces again because she never wore her retainers. And her teeth look straight in her pictures, but um, her bottom teeth, like, they're just kind of crooked again. And um, it would it would really, really sucks if you have to go through all that time to get braces and then get them off. And then you have to get them right back on. So, here's my retainer. I have three cases because I asked for, um, I asked for a few because I have one in the kitchen for when I eat. One in my purse and then one in the car. So I can have one wherever I go if I forget one. Um, like if I have it in my mouth and I don't think about getting the case. So I have a pink one. I have a mint greenish one and they're all sparkly. And then I have a dark purple one. 
This is what my retainer looks like. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's upside down. It's just a mold of your teeth and what they really look like. And basically how you put this in, you put it straight in your mouth. And then you want to put the back teeth in first and then work around to your front teeth. But once you get into your, um, like once your teeth, once you get used to it, you'll just be able to like bite down and it'll automatically go in like I can do. But then I just make sure that it's all pushed in and everything like that. And then taking it out, you also want to start from the back and pop it off the back first. And then pull around to the front and um, because if you pull straight from the front, it can crack it and then you'll just have to get a brand new one again. So... It is kind of slobbery and gross when you take it out, but I, every time I brush my teeth, like I still take that travel toothbrush to school, and after every meal, I will brush my retainer and brush my teeth because I just, I don't want a stinky retainer, if you know what I mean. So just make sure that you wear your retainers and take care of everything that you do, and you will have a great experience. Um, yeah, there's going to be some painful things that happen in the time being, but I promise you won't regret it in the end. I love my teeth and I'm so grateful for my mom and my parents and my grandparents paying for my braces and um, just giving me the opportunity to have pretty teeth and because um, definitely like I'll insert a before, a during, and an after picture and I definitely think that I, I mean I don't know if you guys think this but I don't know if this is conceited but I definitely feel like I, I feel more confident and more pretty when I don't have my braces. Um, than I did before or even during um so I promise it is a huge confidence booster and I I mean I wouldn't regret it I wouldn't regret going through like the little bit of pain to have straight teeth that I do now so if you guys have any questions just tweet me on Twitter which is at Guru Gracie with two E's or comment them on my Instagram or you can private message on Instagram now so DM me my uh Instagram is at Gracie Holmes, and I love you guys so much. You mean the world to me, and just love you really.